I have a threesome. I have too many questions. If I brought you to the threesome, you better come with me and not with her. I want you to be kissing me. Don't kiss her. And I want her to be ugly to me. I don't want to have a threesome if the girl don't look as good as me. To me, hold up. Want some other things? You ate before. Yeah. Is it good? You know, life is like a box of chocolate. Bitch. You never know what you Not a box. Okay. What? Some of it gonna be good. Some are gonna have a little tang. Some are gonna have a little spice, okay? A little spice? <laughs> a little spice? <laughs> Wait a minute. A little spice? Hey, bruh. From the time I reacted to one of them clips where she was talking about body counts, she, she has been rubbing off on me. But, uh, most women, let me stop saying most. Most is a, is, a, is a big word. Some women be talking that threesome talk, and they want to make rules. Case in point, the lady that lives upstairs. Been talking that monage a trois. She, she be talking that talk, y'all. But they want to start making rules. It got to be a certain type of female. And, and I've been seeing these these... these these people that she wants to uh, invite into our bedroom. And and I'm not impressed. i seen one chick. Uh, she had pointed out. That bitch like she cut grass with her bare feet. And you know. I, I, I had to sip the tea. I was finna say too much information. But yeah man. I, I, it wasn't doing it for me. So right now. It's up in smoke. It might happen. It may not happen. But it's up in smoke. I'm not banking on it. So I think you cute, for real. But I, me? Yeah. No, not, not in that look. Me. Not me. I'm saying. <laughs> hold on. You laughing? That ain't funny. Good looking. Let's let's say it like that. Good looking. <laughs> well, if you all locked up. And if you were locked up, like, yeah. I, and we were locked up, I, I would talk to you. No. Yeah, I would. Bruh. <laughs> I got to see what's up with you, right? I got to see what's I mean, up you with don't you. Think you look good. Hey, bruh. Not that. I don't look that good. Do you think you look good? Nah. Do you think you got a nice body? No. Oh. Nice butt? Nope. Oh. Bruh. Nah, so I think you could. Hey, bruh. He applying pressure. If that was me, interview would have been over. You got to realize who you interviewing, bro. That's the booty warrior. If you seen the boondocks, the cartoon is based on him. He's applying pressure and you laughing. But if y'all was in prison and he came at you and said, I, I think you cute. The moment you start laughing, he would have been like, oh, got you. I got you. Nah, bro. Interview would have been over after that. You would have had to get on some Charleston White shit, boy. You had to pull out the pepper spray. Hey, listen. Uh, listen, listen, dog. Ain't none of that over here. That motherfucker, he started going. And he said, I think you got a nice body. <laughs> you got a cute butt. Ain't no grown-ass man telling me I got a cute butt. Ain't no grown-ass man. Mm -mm. Ain't no grown-ass man telling me I got a cute butt. Not to my face. We gonna have a fight. Because then I'm, I'm gonna feel like some chicken. I'm gonna feel like some chicken. Hell no. Nah. My damn lighter, dog. Mm -mm. I ain't gonna lie, that just made me uncomfortable as hell. Which is harder? A man trying to impress a woman or a woman trying to impress a man? Probably. I'm gonna say it's oh. equal. How oh, is it equal? Because men are looking for a dating pool where women are up to their standards and the standards are extremely impossible. Yo, high we don't have any standards. You think men have high standards for women? Absolutely. Like what? Men don't want a gold digger. Men don't want a woman that is too flamboyant, too revealing. A woman that's not too opinionated. And I'm sorry, in this, in the 20th century, is it's not what they're gonna get. Sorry. So when you that's dress high like standards. This, you go into the clubs. Is it for yourself or is it for like male attention? It's for my myself, 100%. I dress the way that makes me feel good about myself. And that bitch slipped up. She was finna say, it's for my inner hoe. <laughs> it's for my ho Your inner hoe. And that's all that I give a fuck about. Would you dress like this if you were in a relationship with a guy? 100%, and he will love it. 
because that's my man, and he will ride for me and how I look. But I thought men didn't want women who were like dressing. If you don't want your man, if you don't want your woman to look like this, if you don't want your woman to look like this, you can't handle a real ass bitch. Okay. Bye. Which is harder? If you watch my videos and you see these type of clips, and you still end up wifing a chick that's like this because she's attractive, you deserve every ounce of hurt and stress that's coming your way. Every ounce of hurt and stress that's coming your way. Now, I'm not saying all attractive females do this. I'm not saying that. I'm saying specifically motherfuckers that think like this. You know how many hoops men have to jump through before they could even get a first date? I think making these videos is giving me a, a level of PTSD that I didn't think I can achieve. Because some of the things I hear some of these people say, it, it, it's crazy. They can talk like this because they're attractive. I want you to understand that. If you out here and you actively dating, whatever female you come across, I want you to ask yourself this question, bro. What can I fall back on when her looks disappear? What can I fall back on when her looks disappear? Because a lot of joints, they can talk the way they talk based on how they look. That's why they have so much control over y'all. Because of their looks. Not because of what's in here, not because of what's in here, but because it is. Because it is. Because it is. Don't fall for that shit. So are y'all in a relationship? Yes. Duh. Yes. Uh, how long y'all been together? Oh. Five years. Five years? Yeah, I thought it was 3.5, but she got way better than me. Is y'all loyal? Of course. Uh, right. like, I'm saying like loyal, loyal. Like y'all unbreakable. Like y'all. Yes. Yes. What? Yes. Unbreakable like a rock. Unbreakable like a rock. <laughs> If I gave you 5k to kiss me right now in front of your boyfriend, would you do it? 5k? No. Hell no. He said pull that shit pull off. Out. Homie look like he'll give you a kiss for the 5k. I got 5k right here. Right here, right now. Money and cash. If you gonna give me a kiss in front of your boyfriend. Nah. No? No. Hey, nah. I told you, boy. She built like that. She's not playing. 10k. Playing. You know, to kiss me in front mm. of your boyfriend. Nah. Mm -mm. Not with it? Nah, I'm gonna need some mo. I'm, this some is the mo. highest I'm going right now. Some is For a kiss? <laughs> For a kiss. Oh. 15k right now. Hey, do this motherfucker want a kiss? Yeah, cool. You want a kiss? Right? 15k right now. Oh, this is the highest I'm going. To get you kiss in front of your boyfriend. I'm sorry, 15k. Babe. I'm sorry, babe. I gotta do it. You is not loyal. You are not loyal. It's gotta Yo, be fake. That was crazy. I'm out. So are y'all in a relationship? It's gotta be fake. This gotta be fake. I, I I refuse to believe that that's real. This gotta be fake. How old are you? 24. 24. What's the most a man has spent on you in one night? Uh, $3,000. $3,000. Three For what? Hold on. It's because we went to the club and he bought like a lot of bottles of champagne. Oh no, I'm not talking about that one. Oh, wait, wait there's I'm multiple? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm talking yeah. about a specific. So, so where do you, where do you take you? Give me the breakdown of the charges. Where he took me? He took me to Guanajuato City, and he Bruh. did a big surprise for me to give me a promise ring. So he bought me my outfit, he the hotel, the dinner, and he. He, like, shut down this whole place for us. Was this your man? Yes. Oh, so he was your boyfriend? Yeah, he was my boyfriend. Oh, and how long were you together at the time? Three years. Okay. Could you see yourself doing the same thing for him or any other man? Yes. If I'm really in love with him, yes. She went, like, a designer and shoes for his birthday. Yeah. He did, like, a whole party for him. Uh -huh. How old are you? Bro, $3,000 can go a long way. I'm not spending three thousand dollars on you on no date, girl. I could throw that shit in the market and make about twelve thousand off of that. I'm not doing that. There's, the, bro. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just too, too cheap, bro. I'm not broke. I know I'm not broke, 
But maybe I'm just too cheap. I just don't. I'm not spending that amount. I'm not spending all that money to, to impress you. Excuse me. Bro, God, God forbid I get a divorce, bro. I'm probably be choking my chicken for the rest of my life. Because I'm not doing all that. Let's talk about the pegging. You want to see it? Yes. <gasps> this pegging video. See I point? thought I saw these. No, no I want to see it. So I that was real? Yeah, I got a couple of them. Okay. How did, you, how did you know you liked it? It was just the fact of like, here you go. I, I get a sound off though, but you can check me out. <laughs> Ain't this the dude from Black Ink? I need you to close your mouth. <laughs> Somebody get in it. I'm oh, she's thrusting that. Yeah. I'm gonna need this before I watch the rest of this video. Do y'all know what pegging is? Do y'all know what pegging is? <laughs> if you know what pegging is, you understand why I'm lighting this thing right here, dog. Oh my God. Yeah, so how did you know you liked that? So what happened was I used to date a lot of women that was like a little dominant. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So at, at a young age, I had a girl that it was in the ears, right? Before she was sucking my I'm like, man, this is different, right? Mm -hmm. She said, look at this. For her and her, her religion, it's a sign of royalty. When she said that, she was dead ass serious, like no smiling and nothing. I'm like, no pun intended. Bad. So then that, that once that happened, then I started dealing with more women that was into the same type of thing. So I'm like, oh, now I'm getting more comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. Then I started dating this one girl that she was into like doing little fingers and little play stuff, shit, stuff like that. So it was like over over time, it was a build up. Not, yeah, it was a build up. So and I'm that's like, where your G spot is, absolutely. And that's when I learned. I had one girl like she would go the balls, you know what I'm saying, and, and the G spot all in one. So it, it's getting super crazy, like you know what I mean. Cause that climax. Things. Some girls will make it harder for the next girl. Like, hey, you ain't finna go nowhere. I'm gonna treat you different, and you like, I ain't going nowhere. She, you, you ain't doing what she, she finna do to me. Like, you know, because you feel different mm -hmm. when it comes to, to the bedroom. Like, if we're gonna have fun, let's have fun. Ain't right. no rules in the bedroom or something. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. I was in Atlanta for my birthday weekend, and I guess some way, somehow, I was drunk a little bit, and I stuck on this guy's shoes, and he gets up, and he goes, wipe my f***ing shoes off right now since you stepped on I said, get the f*** out of my face, I ain't doing that shit. So he went and grabbed his waist. So as soon as he went and grabbed his waist, I grabbed my phone, and I contacted the local authorities. <laughs> <laughs> Come to find out, he got arrested because he was in possession, and he was a felon. <laughs> 23. We're not throwing our lives away for you, dumbass. You're gonna go to jail, buddy. <laughs> the local authorities have been called. <laughs> now, y'all might call me a bitch, but I'm a bitch and I'm free. He a real locked up. <laughs> oh, you wanna try to take my life? Okay. I'll hey, bro. I feel him. <laughs> yeah, you think I'm gonna throw my life away for you, buddy? Check again. <laughs> I was in Atlanta for hey, my... Bro. I feel him. I'm not going to lie. I, I feel him, dog. You don't understand how much moments I be seeing that could be avoided. Like, when I go to play ball, I be seeing so much moments, dog, and I be like, yo, all that shit could be avoided if y'all just step back and just relax. It's not that serious. Nobody is getting paid for that shit. Anyway, dog, <laughs> this is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I apologize for not uploading yesterday. I had to take a break, though, man. I just, mentally, I wasn't there, and I just needed to reset myself.